Well, after the Israelites escaped uh, Egypt, where they were held bound and in slavery for over 400 years, through the prophet, through their exodus, and God working through Moses, led them across the Red Sea and into the Sinai uh, Desert. And as they were making their way through the Sinai Desert, the wilderness, some poisonous snakes started to bite them, allegedly for their lack of faith and their complaining and their murmuring and the like. The people were literally suffering from snake bite and they were dying from uh, the poison given off by the snakes. So God tells Moses to take a snake and turn it into a bronze. Put the uh, serpent on his staff, raise the staff up, and then all the people could see it. And when the people saw the brown, the brown serpent raised up, they turned their thoughts uh, to God. By the power of God in whom they trusted, they were uh, healed. It's kind of a strange story. But needless to say, this incident in the Old Testament greatly impressed the Jews in the desert and the Israelites right up to the time of Jesus, uh, 1,200 years uh, later. When we say, what does it mean to look up and see Jesus raised on the cross? What does it mean to say we have to look up and have faith in the God that we trust? What does this uh, uh, faith in mean? Well, in this gospel today, Jesus said to Nicodemus, Moses lifted the serpent in the desert, and so must the Son of God be lifted up, and so that everyone who believes in him uh, may have um, eternal life. So what does this faith entail? First of all, faith means the commitment to live a life of grateful response to God and to persist in it, notwithstanding failure, defeat, delay, disappointment, and inescapable doubt. And as a total commitment, faith expresses itself not only in belief, but in living, in action, in works. The only real concern in life is to assure that one has chosen the path that leads to eternal life. This is not an easy path. It means putting aside one's personal gratification for the good of others. It is the Jesus path of loving care and sacrifice. It is the road uh, less traveled. That's what faith entails, the road less traveled. You know, true failure is to lead a selfish life, seeking and perhaps finding power and domination, but ending in frustration and terrible uh, disappointments. The gospel today really is the gospel in miniature. It says, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that those who believe in him may not perish, but may have everlasting life. In following Jesus, our trust, our faith in him, has to include the two important pillars of generosity and self-giving a sacrifice.